Same constraint robustness to torque errors in task space inverse dynamic. Hi everybody. I'm Angelo Fred. I'm a postdoc at Last NRS, where I work with Nicola Massa. And today we present you an extension of the control framework known as task space inverse dynamics that allows you to take into account errors in your joint torque tracking so as to improve the robustness of the controller. So first of all, what's task space inverse dynamics? It's an optimization-based control framework that is typically used for torque control robots. So it works like this. It takes as input some reference trajectories for the points of your robots that you want to control, for instance the feet, the hands and the center of mass, and then it finds the joint torques that minimize the tracking errors for all these trajectories while satisfying the dynamics of your system and ensuring that you have contact forces that are inside the friction cones and you have joint positions, velocities and torques that are within bounds. So this control framework is quite well known and it has, for instance, been used by a lot of teams participating to the DRC finals but in my opinion it has a major flaw that is, it lacks robustness and this is what we try to address in this work So you can formulate the task space inverse dynamics as a least square optimization is as simple as this and in robotics typically you solve it using an active set algorithm so let me explain you with a 2D example how it works and why it can be a problem for the robustness. So you have a bunch of inequality constraints that divide your space into a feasible set and an unfeasible set. And then you have a cost function, which is zero, that is its optimum, over this red line. If you solve this problem with an active set algorithm, it will give you that solution, which is not at all a good choice, because you're right on the boundary of your feasible set. This means that if you have even a tiny small uncertainties in your problem data, you may be, be outside of your feasible set, which in practice means that your robot may be slipping and falling, you may be burning a motor or hitting a joint limit. A much better choice would be a solution like the yellow dot there, because you're far away from the boundary of your feasible set and so you have a much higher chance of being feasible in practice. So, in a nutshell, in this work we are proposing a way of modifying the least square optimization over there so as that it gives you solutions that are robust. So in particular, among all the possible uncertainties that affect legged robots, here we are focusing on the joint torque tracking errors, that is, the difference between the desired joint torques and the real joint torques. So we model this error as a Gaussian distributed zero mean random variable with a known covariance matrix. Then we modify the least square optimization by optimizing at the same time the standard cost, that is the tracking <coughs> error over there, and the probability that all your inequality constraints are satisfied. So the good news is that this new problem, optimization problem, is convex and is differentiable. The bad news is that computing this probability is too slow for application in real-time control. That is why in the paper we propose three different ways of approximating this probability that are accurate enough to work well in real-time but are much faster. So we tested the resulting formulations in a simulation, testing them uh, between each other and also with the classic formulation, the non-robust one. And we measure a large improvement in robustness, that is in the probability to satisfy all the inequality constraints. And despite the large number of degrees of freedom of the system, 36, and the large number of inequality constraints, that is 82, we managed to keep the computation time below one millisecond meaning that you can apply this in real time on a real robot. We also empirically showed that you are more robust to unmodel uncertainties, such as error in the inertial parameters of your system. So, to conclude, if you are interested in stochastic, robust optimization, robust control or inverse dynamics control, please come and talk to me at the poster session. Thank you for your attention.